Hi Leo, welcome to your Soulmate Twin Flame reading for the week of August 28th through September 9th. Um, I would like, this is for Sun, Moon and Rising for the sign of Leo. This is a general reading. Please make sure you check your Moon and Rising sign as well. That way you can pull the pieces out that fit your particular situation. Um, I would like to thank everybody who has liked, subscribed, and shared my videos, and to those who have booked readings and made donations to my channel. I love doing this for you. If you would like a personal reading, please go to AscendingSoulsJourney.com, and at the top you can see monthly special readings and guidance, and pick what you would like to have your reading, whichever one suits you for your reading, and you can pay for it. And the instructions are right there on the site of what you need to do after that. So the first card we have for you is the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is an opportunity from given to you from God above to start a brand new beginning based on passion, creativity, energy. And I always see this as romance as well. And um, it also indicates communication coming in. So somebody from your past is going to come back for some of you. It's followed by the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords is when we go through a, a situation that made us feel a sense of betrayal, be, feeling stabbed in the back. When we're dealing with soulmate situations, soulmate and twin flame situations, this card does come up because that's part of the soulmate process, unfortunately. Or fortunately, because we wind up healing all that pain. The next card that comes out is the moon. The moon is about intuition. It's about being intuitively guided from above. It's also about secrets, okay? These can be good secrets. They can be bad secrets. And this is followed by the two of swords. So the two of swords is a person who feels blinded in their thinking. They don't know what to do. They don't know what direction to go in. And they're looking to figure out what to do before they make a decision. And that's what this indicates. So for some of you, you've got somebody coming back in from the past. I'm gonna clarify this. I usually just do the court cards, but um, I've been starting to clarify it a little bit more in depth, giving us a little more to look at, to hone in on which group of people we're talking to. So the Ace of Wands, somebody's going to come back in from the past. This is communication coming in. It's going to be fast, and it's communication. Now, the, what I'm hearing is it can be somebody who hurts you. So if you're dealing with your soulmate twin flame, most likely it's them. But this person that's coming in from the past has got a secret to tell you or perhaps you're going to them and telling them the secret. Secret, you felt betrayed. You felt stabbed in the back by this person that's coming in, but they're going to come in and they're going to tell you something that's going to make you feel like, oh, I can't make a decision now. Before I knew which one it was, which way I wanted to go. Now I don't because they've opened up and shared the secret with you. For some of you, the secret is, I loved you, I just couldn't tell you that. For others, it could be more of a negative capacity that is going to make you feel like a Satan of Swords. But I'm hearing this is more about the group of you that heard thought. Maybe you thought your partner or ex-partner was moving on and had started dating somebody else and they weren't in love with you. Because when we're dealing with soulmate twin flames, they do that. The runner always casts off this illusion that they don't care, that they, um, that they don't have any feelings for you. They hide what they're trying to say. Now, the first card that came out as clarification is the Nine of Wands. This is a person who's been through many, many battles. They have enough energy to move forward. They know they can, but they want to size up the situation to make sure it's worth them to move forward. Again, somebody from the past returning. It falls right under the Ace of Ace of Wands. And then the next card that came out is the Two of Pentacles, keeping your balance. So whoever, whether it was you or the other person that felt betrayed, you need to keep your balance. When this person returns or you return to them, balance needs to be kept. Oh, my flame went out. 
balance needs to be kept between the two of you so that you can make accurate, wise decisions. The card that came under the moon is judgment, okay? This is the final verdict being in. So somebody is being called to action to make a judgment call based on past actions, okay? What I'm getting for this particular group of person is the secret that's going to come out is going to bring such clarity that you are going to want to move forward. Some of you that'll be moving forward with this person that's coming back, some of you will be moving away from them. It depends on what the secret is, okay? And then it's up to you to make that decision ultimately. For those of you married, you, it, it can be a similar situation. Your partner may have hurt you or you hurt them. Um, but you see, to me, the secret that is being shared hurts somebody because they didn't know the full secret. They only thought they knew. It was about thoughts, not actually real, a real life situation that took place. Our mind can play some horrible, horrible tricks on us. This is intuition from above. This is being guided by your, your inner wisdom, your dreams, okay? That is this. Now, the cards that came out for this is forgiving and learning. As you heal and release the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So for this group of you that I'm talking about, where the pain was there, where it hurt you, and this person is going to come in and, re and give you some secrets that's going to help you make a decision, a final judgment, a final call to action. You're being intuitive. You're being guided from above, by the way. Um, forgiving and learning. You need to give them an opportunity to explain themselves because it may not have been what you thought it really was. So at least allow them the opportunity to explain themselves for this group of people. The next card that came out is heart to heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So again, that confirms what's going on in this particular scenario. So for some of you, you've got a beautiful ending to this with this partner. For others of you, you have a beautiful ending without the partner. And what I mean by a beautiful ending means when we move forward, when we get to this stage where we're ready to walk away, it builds our confidence up. At least whether you choose them or not, you have clarity on what happened before, whether you want to start this brand new beginning with that person or not. But you you are going to be dealing with somebody that's coming in from the past. So Leo, I hope this helps you. Again, please check out your moon and rising sign. And we would all love to hear your comments. Have a wonderful week. Much love.